Hey everyone, it's Mike here with How To Apps. Today I'm going to show you how to move pictures from Android to an SD card. It's fairly simple, so we'll jump right into it. In this example, I am just using a USB card reader plugged into my Samsung device through the USB-C port using a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Here is an example of what those devices look like. If you were using a micro SD card and your phone had a micro SD card slot, you would not have to use these adapters. And now we'll jump into the phone. Each Android device comes with an app called Files or My Files. If you do not see one on your device, you can download one from the Google Play Store. My device is the Samsung, so I'm going to be using the Samsung's My File app. First thing I'm going to do is open the app, and I'm going to navigate to Images. Here you can see the list of images on your device. If we long press on any image, it'll bring up the option for us to select multiple images. So we will choose the images that we would like to move. And then we will press move on the bottom left of the screen. Now you can see that we have selected 12 items on the bottom left. And they are ready to be moved. Now we are going to navigate where we would like to move them. In this case, we're moving them to the SD card. So we will press the back button on the top left. And we will choose USB storage toward the bottom. Once we have chosen USB storage, it'll bring us to the SD card that is plugged into the USB port. And now simply all you do is press move here on the bottom right, and that'll move it to the root of the SD card. If you would like to create a pictures folder, you could. For this example, I'm just moving them to the SD card root. And that is how you would move pictures from Android to an SD card without using any other device. Additionally, you could do this by plugging your phone into the computer and that would allow you to navigate through your phone's internal memory as well as your SD card by using a Windows or a Mac device. For this example, I want to show you how to do it solely using your Android device without the need for a computer. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button below, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos.